I'm going to stand up here and play a short video that we produced. Uh, talks a little bit about what we're doing and who we are and our products in the market. And then we talk a little bit about blockchain and agriculture. focuses on getting the seed from the ground all the way to market in an extremely fast pace. Our true focus is not only servicing our farmers and the ecosystem around them, but really leveling the playing field when it comes to technology. In our current global market, we see some real issues when it comes to agriculture. We definitely have a very slim profit margins for the people that matter the most in our society, which are the farmers. They're creating our food, they're putting everything that we have on our table easily available for us every day. What we're going to see in the next 20 to 40 years is an incredible increase in demand in food and a smaller labor force and a smaller ability to produce this food. In developing nations, we have a serious corruption issue. Our farmers are usually undefended, some are uneducated, and a lot of them are unfed. One of the biggest issues that I've seen in the industry today is that people are reluctant to do business with each other. People are reluctant to do business with people they haven't known, and people are reluctant to do business in other countries. Global markets need to be able to sell anywhere in the world without having any kind of friction. While that's not a possibility today, we're getting very close. When there's devastation in the part of the world that needs supply, systems like Grain Chain are able to provide that supply. Here at Grain Chain, we get asked constantly, why blockchain? Why are we getting into technologies uh, such as distributed ledgers, blockchain? Uh, what's the purpose? The reality is I don't see us being able to accomplish what we want to do without it. When we want to create a smart contract between two parties and auto execute this contract, the only way I see it being done is with a distributed ledger. When two parties enter into an agreement and that agreement is distributed cryptographically to a thousand different parties, then when that contract is recalled and executed, we know that it is the original contract that was written. The reality is, we have an opportunity here to help everyone in the industry. So I think what we have to see is what the technology is doing today. When a farmer has to move his crop, he's able to open up applications in our system that run logistics, and they're able to truly see and analyze what needs to get done. When a truck driver opens his app and he sees that a load has to be picked up, he's able to open and verify on the map exactly where they need to go. So when the truck goes to its first location, our geofencing allows the application and our system to know that the truck has arrived to be able to pick up the individual commodity. When it hits the scale, our system notifies the scale room that the person is there and the truck driver confirms it. Once that's been confirmed, the data is automatically transferred over from the truck information to the truck driver, to what he's loading and where he's going into the system. Our systems track them when they go to the bins, when they drop off, and when they come back. As they come back, they're able to tell the scale that they're back, they're empty, or they're loaded, and what the weight is. Our systems automatically communicate with each other, so the trucker automatically knows when he's ready to go. When the trucker goes in and gets back in his truck, our system monitors their status. So we're able to know the route that they took, the speed that they're going, and how long it's going to take them to get to the final destination. We're also able to see when the truck driver breaks down, the ability for him to communicate to us that he's broken down, the messaging system that's within our system that allows the trucker, the farmer, or the final facility to chat, to have phone calls, and to interact. This gives the person that's inspecting this truck a very clear view of what's really going on. He's able to see all of the trucks and individuals. It's able to time how long that person is broken down and able to get status updates when that person's back on the road. When that trucker gets to the final location to drop off, the geofencing alerts not only the trucker, but also the facility. And the trucker is able to notify the facility that he's on the scale. All of that information is 
transferred over to the system. There is zero human entry, so the margin for error is minimal. As we move forward, that information is transferred back to the truck, and that person is able to offload their load. When that truck gets back on the scale in an empty state, everything is processed, and the grain is graded, and a final certificate is being issued. That certificate is automatically submitted into the trucker's app, and that trucker is able to get paid instantly for his trip. When that commodity is graded, that information goes out for consensus on our blockchain. It's accepted, and money is transferred. That moment, a farmer gets paid. At that moment, a buyer gets his title. The back office is completely eliminated, and we've completed the transaction. We've done now what used to take weeks. It used to take people, manpower, and it used to come with inaccuracies. What we have been able to prove is not only can we do this efficiently, but we can do this in a method that saves everyone time, money, efficiency. It allows people to do business that are thousands of miles away. Great team today is at a point that I can be extremely proud of. Over the last couple of years, we've grown tremendously. What we're doing today is revolutionizing the app market. What we're doing tomorrow is we're flattening the air. We're creating a true global market that will allow people to interact, exchange, and trade how it should be done. Thank you. So that was great, Jane. And the purpose of showing the video was giving an idea of actual applications affecting global markets, actual applications of the agricultural industry that are in production, that are changing the way a lot of people do business, a lot of, of the way that people do business. I think we're going to start with the presentation. So Grain Chain is a suite of products that utilize blockchain technology not only to make the efficient transaction between two parties an absolute, but it's also the ability to not only know where your commodities are coming from, where your commodities are coming from, but have the absolute assurance that what you're buying is what you're getting. We just listened to a large uh, a speech about tariffs going on in China, which Boeing is one of the most affected, but the reality is agriculture is being affected, it's absolutely devastating. We've got tariffs that are hitting our soy market that are impacting us in ways that we don't understand. We don't understand the future's effects. We do understand that we need to take a strong, a strong stance when it comes to trade. But what it's doing to our agricultural market today is it's opening up markets in South America, Central America, and other areas that the U.S. is, is losing grip on. One of the things that we are doing here at Grain Chain is enabling people to be able to do business in vertical markets, enabling American, Mexican, Central American, and South American farmers to be able to create marketplaces and be able to trade efficiently in ways that they've never been able to do before. When a farmer in Kansas is used to selling to brokers like ADM, Cargill, or Bungie, uh, relies on them to be able to do trade in China, and those markets close, those farmers are pretty much subject to whoever they can sell to. What we're creating is a suite of products that not only give them the providence of assuring that their product is a high quality product, that it is made in America or it is made in Mexico or it is made in South America. But the paths that it took, the, the bins that, they, that they've been in, and the quality of grading that they're coming from. Blockchain technology is something that has become a very public technology in the last two years. But because of cryptocurrencies, because of what Bitcoin is and everything else. But the underlying technology is something incredible that is impacting most financial markets. The reality is when you're able to make a, a contract, when you're able to make a transaction without any of the two parties being able to interact with the systems being able to do it, you eliminate a lot of the middlemen 
that are involved in these transactions. Blockchain technology is what's rev revolutionizing currently the financial markets, what's impacting our agricultural markets, and what's showing the overall central governments the ability that transactions can be made efficiently, transparently, and without the use of centralized systems with that we rely on. We're looking at four distinct opportunities that we're trying to attack with our technology. First, we're trying to even out the playing field, giving the small to medium-sized farmer the ability to market their grain, to market their commodities anywhere among the United States. We're ensuring that not only are they able to sell their commodities, but they're able to be efficiently paid for these commodities. By using this technology, we're able to create immutable records that are allowed to be produced among the marketplace. What that means is when I create a contract with you, that contract is set in stone. There's nobody in the industry that can say this contract was not created and these terms were not agreed to. The difference between that and what is currently done today is in developing markets, in markets where contracts and legal systems may not be as efficient as they are in the United States, these contracts are written and distributed among thousands of different nodes within our system, making it impossible to change the information that came from, that, 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 was, that was written to. What this does is it gives the ability for somebody in Kansas to deal with somebody in uh, Nigeria, in Australia, or in Mexico. It gives both parties the ability to truly see that this information can be changed and that the funds will be secured for the transaction when it is delivered, as long as it meets all of the criteria. But blockchain is something interesting because it is a complex technology. It requires individual technologies to assist this information. This information has to be executed by machines, not people. And the contracts have to be executed in an invalid method to be able to be uh, properly executed as a smart contract. We have a suite of three different products First is a blockchain enabled platform. And what this is, is that this is a marketplace that allows for farmers anywhere in the world to be able to do business with each other. It allows for money to be transferred among borders, across borders, and domestically in the United States. What it does is it allows for people to be able to really pick up a lot of the deals that they've left in the past and be able to take advantage of, of more lucrative deals with less trusted parties. It creates liquidity among markets that we haven't seen in a very long time, and it pulls the ability for brokers to have control over a lot of these transactions that they've had for many years in the past. With that comes our, uh, another one of our products called Silosis, and what this does is it completely automates the process of collecting grain. One of the biggest problems with blockchain is the information that comes into the blockchain has to be accurate. It doesn't matter if I write something in stone if the information is incorrect in the first place. What we're doing is we're applying machines and uh, Internet of Things, IoT devices among our industry to be able to record this information. So now when corn goes into a silo or corn comes out of the field, a machine is creating this information. And a machine is telling everyone within the industry what the grade of this, of, of, of this commodity is. What that does allow us to do is take that information as a reality and really, really have a lot of confidence with the contracts that we're writing. And Harvex is our agribusiness uh, logistics management tool. It is the ability to truly record everything coming from the ground. It manages our trucks, it manages our truck drivers, and it manages the commodities to wherever we go. So when I can truly say, buy a bag of tortilla chips, put that tortilla chip in my mouth and I can understand exactly the field that it came from, the trucks that it went on, the silos that it went into, the water tables that it came from, the fertilizers that were applied to that corn, and all of the different uh, farmers who touched that individual corn. What that does for me is it gives me an absolute security of knowing where it's coming from. But when things go wrong and things are contaminated and we understand that things don't uh, the, the, the fungus has come out or the, the, there is an outbreak of some type of bacteria, we understand where it's coming from. 
So now, instead of eliminating all of the lettuce that was distributed in the United States, we're able to go ahead and say it came from this region. And we're able to fight, and we're able to follow the money all the way to the end to where we can accurately and instantly know where things are coming from. Financial markets are important, but financial, market, financial markets don't work unless we know exactly where things are coming from, how they're being grown, and what's, what's involved in the process. When we're connecting drivers, silos, farmers, marketplace leaders, and buyers, producers, and, and facilities, we're able to truly understand what that whole ecosystem really is about. Our system is very, very easy to use, and it uses technologies that are enabling us to do things that we've just never been able to consider before. Our system allows farmers to negotiate contracts with anyone around the world in a very efficient manner. In the past, when it would take weeks to negotiate a contract and push papers from one end to another, this is an instant process. These contracts are created among two parties. They are negotiated digitally, so the response can be instant, and they're absolute in all of the terminology. So in the past, when you were manually creating the contract, writing things down, you may forget something. These contracts don't allow that. Once the contract is created and initiated, it is written to the blockchain. That information is written among multiple nodes in, in our network, and it is set in stone. From there, Harvex is our logistics management tool, picks up the actual grain from the fields. It tracks where the driver picked up. It accurately knows by geofencing uh, the, the location of the original seed. It tracks the actual path that it went to the, to the silos and tanks. And it tracks its final destination. What it's doing is it's allowing us to not only see the exact path that everything took, but allow us to catch fraud. It allows us to catch where corn went inside of a peanut bit, where a truck driver drops off in a location that he shouldn't, or when there's environmental variables that affect our actual commodities. Once Harvex picks up the, the load and drops it off, it passes it over to Silosis, which is our inventory management system. Our cloud-based system allows for our farmers to have instant access to their information and where their commodities went. It allows them to create contracts and allows them to manage the financials of everything having to do with commodities. Once Silosis absorbs that information, it writes that information to the blockchain and it initiates the, the blockchain transaction. What that means is that money is transferred at that instant. When that truck driver drops that corn off, a farmer has money in in, in their actual bank account that same day. That changes the life of how our farmers work. In the United States, it enables liquidity. In Mexico, it enables the ability for a farmer to have money in a, in a period that they've never understood before. It allows them to really be able to capture the contracts that they've initiated. And it allows for a lot of the corruption that happens along the process to go away. In Mexico, a farmer will drop off corn at the silo and they will tell them maybe different information of the weight of the commodity, of the quality of the commodity. And then they'll take weeks to be able to pay. We've, we've eliminated that process and made it almost instant. What we've done is not only level the playing field for what the farmer can do, but we let the farmer farm and concentrate on what they do. We eliminate the back offices and the ability to touch information and manipulate information for the benefit of the people that have the control. By giving farmers, by giving people in the industry the ability to have absolute transparency and instant access to information, we've enabled markets that we've never been able to see before. And we've eliminated people who really don't have a reason to be in the industry. Grain chain, Silosis, and Harvex are products that we've put together from an actual need. We have over 1,500 farmers on the system. We've just initiated a project in the state of Tamaulipas in Mexico that allow the farmers to receive these technologies free of charge and allow them to understand that not only is the transparency important, but it gives them the ability to have control of their actual commodities. As we go forward, we understand that not only are commodities uh, harder to produce in developed nations, but we're having issues in undeveloped nations being able to control who actually gets the money. 
using these different technologies and using blockchain to be able to not only prove that we can do this, are giving individual farmers, governments, and banks the ability to conduct business that they just never thought could be done. As we move forward, today we're creating a very traceable product. We're opening markets and we're giving power to farmers. Tomorrow, we're opening markets to areas that just didn't have the access to them in the past, that play high premiums among many different brokers, many different uh, entities that took advantage of this fact. We give a marketplace that not only can eliminate the opaqueness that made them, either drove them or drove profits to certain individuals, but we open up the ability for everyone to participate in a fair manner. We're very excited of what we're doing. We have uh, offices in Texas and in Mexico. We're currently moving into Honduras and South America. And we're seeing an absolute embrace of the technology among people that have been in a very difficult situation in the past. Thank you. Any questions?
have uh, Paul and Nina start to establish the same uh, setup here in, in Guadalajara. Uh, it's, it's complicated at the beginning. Now it's flowing very well. Uh, we've been extremely successful, and we found that people who get involved in these kinds of projects that mean something really dedicate time and effort. It's, it's, it's something very good. Uh, it takes some work, and it takes some getting used to the different customs and cultures and work ethics. Um, here you'll find people who work very hard and late hours, uh, but you have to you have to have it extremely well structured. So we've been extremely lucky, and we're extremely happy to be here in Guadalajara. Uh, our our offices in Texas appreciate everything that's going on here, and we've been able to create a lot of software in a short period of time with the talent here in Guadalajara. Any other questions? I, um, um, I'd like to congratulate you on, uh, on a great idea, helping a lot of people. Um, I'm very interested in, in asking, um, today's topics have been a lot about, you know, trade, international trade, and, and how it affects the global economy. And I would like to know, when, uh, when you say, when you talk about setting contracts in stone. Is there any sort of oversight or assistance when it comes to helping people, you know, manufacture these contracts that actually comply with trade treaties between, you know, the US and Latin America or within Latin American countries? Sure, so every country that we are set up in is, uh, I think, our largest expense is legal compliance, is the ability to stay not only up to date, but have effective enforceable contracts. Our, our Currently, our system is doing uh, quite a bit of business between Mexico and the US. We have to be able to comply with Mexican authorities and US authorities to be able to create effective enforceable contracts. The beauty of what our contracts do is when you create a contract within our system, there's an automatic escrow system. There's an automatic, uh, there's there's a wizard that allows you to create these contracts in a very, very efficient manner where the person creating it doesn't have to be a lawyer, it doesn't have to consult lawyers because everything is being created uh, automatically for them. They answer a series of questions and those questions go among whatever they're trading back and forth. We create the legal documents at the end and we were able to publish them to each individual user. So to answer your question, we have to make an excessive amount of investment in each individual region that we're working in to be able to create these effectively enforceable contracts. But apart from that, our systems are, are, are create smart contracts that are auto-executed based off of quality, grade, and performance. So when a contract is being written and the product is being delivered and everything meets the criteria that was established in the contract, the payment is made whether the person likes it or not. So we, we are able to, uh, you know, as my father always said, a very well-written contract never has to be revisited. Our contracts are written in a way where not only do they not have to be revisited because of the legal compliance, but it's because the actual enforcement and liquidation of the contract is automatic. So we're giving, we're empowering people with technologies, infrastructures, and, and, and abilities that would require a lot of money, legal expertise, and infrastructure investment that have to invest nothing. Yes, sir. Uh, this is Jim Ketter from Kansas City. We, we work with a lot of agriculture. And, uh, I think the thing that's hitting my ears most loudly is, is the fact that you're talking about transactions between strangers who will never meet each other and you know, trucks moving and so forth. And uh, you made a few comments about fraud, and I I'm, I'm, think I'm most interested in that, in transactions between total strangers and uh, someone that you'll never see or do business with except through this network. Have, have you had a lot of experience with fraud in this, or is, is it really not happening? 
So one of the main aspects of what we're doing is, is we're creating systems that highly prevent fraud. Uh, our, our devices and our ability to read great certificates, our ability to execute this without human interaction greatly reduce the ability for fraud to become a, a real factor. Uh, when you move forward from Kansas City to Nigeria, and it gets to Nigeria, and our systems are able to not only grade, track, and see where everything went, the and, and, and the money is escrowed to where when it gets to Nigeria, the money's released, uh, the ability to commit fraud is highly, highly reduced. Can I tell you that we eliminate fraud 100%? You know, there's always people trying to figure out how to uh, defraud any system in the world. However, the fact that humans aren't able to enter this grave, the fact that we actually track things physically where they're moving, and the fact that we escrow the money, the fraud is eliminated to a very, very high percentage. Uh, you know, when the, the, the biggest issues we see in this industry are, you know, fraud grading certificates or people saying things got there that they didn't. When we, have, when we have actual computers that are telling us different and they're telling us how things are moving, it greatly reduces it. So we've, we've created a system that not only are people able to trust these people they don't know, uh, but they have no reason to trust them. They have no need to trust them. Uh, they received the corn, our system said it was there, uh, everything is agreed and the money is transferred. It's a very efficient system. Yes, sir. Uh, I have a good friend that this blockchain systems work uh, with with us with servers that, that produces some algorithm. Is your system work like that? And uh, if so, where where are your servers located? Sure. So uh, basically, the way blockchain technology works is uh, I write on a piece of paper that uh, this room is brown. And my servers, to answer your question specifically, my, our servers are held on the Amazon Web Services, uh, specifically in Chicago, but our servers write that this room is brown. But blockchain, what it does is it writes to a thousand different servers among our network, whether they're located in Mexico, Texas, China, uh, Argentina, all of the node holders who use our system write that information to them. So that when I come back, and I say, you know what? My contract said it was brown, but I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bad player in this industry, and I want to say this room's purple. You can go and try to modify my system and say it's purple, but you're going to have to hack a thousand systems around the United States to be able to convince everyone that this room is purple, which is virtually impossible. The reason why that's why blockchain technology is very powerful. You're not relying on my server, and you're not relying on my word. You're relying on the thousand participants that use our system to confirm that this information is correct. We cryptographically uh, encrypt the, the information that's in these contracts and we set them among all the different nodes. And when those nodes understand that this room is brown, you would have to hack a thousand systems instantaneously to be able to make this room purple. That's what gives us power. That's what allows us to not have trust among the two different parties. Any other questions? I very much thank you for your time. Uh, this is an absolute pleasure to come and present here, and thank you for, for allowing me to tell you about our story. Just one block away. He can walk in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.